Fornication. I'll read that again. For an occasion like this, uh, I want to make sure I keep up the traditions of being a best man. Uh, apparently, I need to get the groom to the church on time. Tick. Uh, I need to remember the rings. Did that. And I need to have sex with a bridesmaid. I, to be fair, I maybe when they're older. You know, never say never. I give it a year. Watch it now on iTunes before it's in theaters August 9th. I give it a year. 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 That's what everybody is saying about the central relationship is that they give it a year. Some of you think that we're crazy for getting married. Yes. This picks up almost where every other romantic comedy finishes. You know, what happens after the, the perfect wedding between the people who aren't necessarily perfect for each other? They rush into this marriage after a very short sort of intense period of lust and, you know, romance, and and then the, you meet them at the start and they're in counselling. Truthfully, there's just something in our marriage that hasn't quite Fit. gelled. You realise you'd married beneath yourself. You thought you could be with someone better looking, better body. Uh, no. No. So were there terrible sexual problems? In, in all relationships, you get together with someone, you spend the first four months of a relationship stifling farts, don't you? Then they get married and they let rip and they realise they don't like the smell of each other's farts. What is it? I saw you looking at it online the other day. Two Asian lesbians and a man who looks like a fat Jesus. It is sort of about the pressures that newlyweds face, and we don't see that a lot. I thought I got it made. I married a doctor. First, first word, word, first word. Yeah, it's flipped. Um, um, red, red, red. Sick, lazy, huh? stupid, disappointment. It's the anti-romantic, although it still is romantic, uh, comedy. I need to be with you, Ned. I'm sorry, but that dove is getting awfully close to the ceiling fan. I'm not giving up. From the minute I met you, I thought of nothing else. It's not a traditional rom-com in the sense that it plays a little with the conventions of what you expect. Nat's kind. <laughs> Boring. Warm. Warm. Put the radiator on if you want warm. Good with kids. So was Michael Jackson. The focus is on comedy much more than it is romance. This is definitely an edgy comedy that is sort of romantic at its centre. A lot of very, very funny people doing what they do best, and I think uh, it might change that genre a little bit. It needs a little kick up the arse, and I think it just got one. Shame that they couldn't put your brain in her body. Do you know what I mean? That would be amazing. Although you'd be left with her brain in your body. Imagine that. Oh my god, it's like Frankenstein, but with like boobs. You should just cut your losses now before your life becomes a series of squabbles about who put the King's Speech DVD back in the Sound of Music DVD club. I give it a year. Watch it now on iTunes before it's in theaters August 9th.